Hey guys, it's Remo, and today's question comes really from a conversation we had with our team earlier this week, and it's regarding purchasing a property that needs a, a little bit of work, right? More of a fixer-upper than what you normally would see on the market. And, you know, am I able to do that with an FHA loan or a conventional loan? So, uh, to answer that question, really, it, it, it kind of depends, um, and not necessarily depends, it really matters if you could do basic functions in the house. And that will typically tell you if you're able to purchase a property with uh, FHA or conventional finance. So let me explain. You have to be able to cook a meal in your house. You have to be able to use the bathroom. Uh, you have to be able to, sh to shower or bathe yourself in the bathroom. You have to have heating in, in the house. So if you don't, all these are substandard issues. And then what ends up happening is if you don't have these things, the lender is worried that you won't move in right away. And if you don't move in right away and you don't miss and you miss your first payment, then their ability to sell that loan in a secondary market diminishes diminishes substantially. So their fear is putting someone into a house that they can't make that first mortgage payment. And so if you have a house that needs work, they might think, okay, you have two mortgages or, or, or maybe a rental that you might have that you're paying for and then now a mortgage and you're not gonna be able to, to make that mortgage payment. So if you're looking at properties, and, and I guess the point is, what, what does all this mean? If you're looking at properties and it doesn't have, for example, a kitchen, a, a toilet anywhere in the house, a, an ability to take a shower or bathe, a heating system that doesn't work or it's been removed or it just looks like you know it needs some attention, it becomes very difficult to get financing for those homes. Now, if they have those things, but the house just needs a lot of work, then those are typically financeable. Now, the other thing that's really critical um, with, with, with FHA uh, especially and, and also conventional, depending on severity, is if there's any chip paint, you know, homes prior to 1978 have a chance of being uh, painted with uh, lead in, in the paint because lead was part of the, the paint back then. And so in the lender's eyes, if the paint is chipping, it can potentially fall down. A kid could pick it up, a child, and eat it. And if they eat it, they end up getting uh, potentially lead poisoning. And so they're very cautious about that. So if you have a house that has a lot of chip paint, especially in the high traffic areas, the front door, back door, you know, side door, um, that tends to be kind of a red flag that becomes problematic as well. So hope this question answered uh this question is, is for some of you that are thinking about maybe the value add which is buying something that needs a little bit of work but with the ability to still be able to obtain traditional financing so thanks for the question our team and uh we uh we'll chat with you guys soon bye